Hello and welcome back to Outpost Infinity Siege. We'll be continuing on where we left off. We've just unlocked a new map, so we'll see if we can uh, manage to get this new area done. Commander of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. Please we'll be going to the snow ruins. Get the change of biome then. And we will be getting some friendly artillery, a mine launcher, miners, a front line. Looks like, yeah, and if our front line gets uh, broken, they'll assault from the flanks. We could be having cataphracts and even uh, nebulas attacking this time, as well as the sweepers and tanks that we've had before. Right. Difficulty one. Commander of Outpost Eleven. And we'll begin. Pratt. Sortie authorization. Outpost Pratt. Eleven. Launch confirmed. Right. Let's see where we're going with this then. So the objective is up there. Right. So we could go around here and then come back down. Maybe go to these ones up here to get some better stuff. Right, we'll do that then. Ooh, there's some valuables. Oh, more and better items while it's blowing. Let's see what we get. <coughs> uh, we'll just get a container buff, I guess. Um, confirm that. Lakeside Town, more loot, lovely. Let's see what we get then. Double three stacks of the valuables randomly. Enemies have 15%, uh, are buffed by 15%. Power cost to advance the map is reduced. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Ooh, instant loot is expensive here. Modules, nano chip, advanced building materials. Right. Uh, wanted building materials. When recovered, it ends gain more gold. 100% of building materials worth. Enemy gains 30% buffs. On recovery. Uh, Get an extra recruitment beacon. Yes, let's go for that. We've got an amber. Ah, so we're not guaranteed to get the objective item if we do an auto loot. Right, I'll keep that in mind from now on. I wasn't aware of that. Increased backpack space, sure. Right, we'll recover. Because we're about out of power. Right. So we have to keep that in mind. The actual... Yeah, the actual mission objective area we'll have to do manually. No matter what then. Because it looks like it's only a chance that it'll actually drop the item that we need. Right. We'll give it another go then after this. Okay. On the plus side, though, we've got some valuable uh, valuable items, including that recruitment beacon. So we'll be able to get another optative. We'll be able to send them out on uh, additional missions and that now. Should be pretty good. So let's see, attack direction there, there, 
and better. But I think they'll only come to the sides if the front line is broken. So let's make sure that isn't broken. Right. We'll gather some lumber as we usually do. Build up our materials. Right. <clears throat> Good stuff. I'm guessing this is the artillery battery that we've got. Friendly artillery. Yeah, looks like it is. <clears throat> Fabricate mines. I'm pressing E, but it's not doing anything. Maybe we have to wait till it starts. Or maybe it has to. Maybe it's got a full magazine at the moment. We have to wait. Who knows? Either way, let's get some ammo. 10 seconds. So we've got a front line here and another front line down here. Okay, what have we got with this? Huge wreck. Oh wow, okay. <coughs> Don't bother with the trees next time, because instead we can salvage that. Ammo. <clears throat> Recovery procedure nearing completion. Hold on just a bit longer. Get that bomb there. Ooh. Facility deployed. Right, it's not even got back to our actual front line yet. <laughs>
Hmm. Well. Two enemies remain over there somewhere. Right, so let's get some uh, ammo made. Right. Any goodies whatsoever? Did anything drop anything? If not, that's pretty abysmal. Oh! Ah, I see. I think I think I might know what's happened. It's a slope, isn't it? They've all rolled downhill. If there is anything, it's probably around here. Also, let's try in future. Yeah. <clears throat> in future ones on this map, we probably want to have plenty of power left so we can salvage all this wreckage. And we should go straight for that rather than... Uh, um, what's it? Going for the trees and things. Mm. Oh, it's a lot you have to pick. Okay. I feel cheated. Let's find out if there's anything in the rest of it. Not really. What have we got up here? Got some odds and ends, but nothing crazy good. Hello. Bottom MG to it. Hmm. I guess if it's bottom, does that mean it attaches like, to something below? Hmm. Perhaps so. Right. Now here's a question. Um, if I were to go downstairs... So it's that door, that door... I look into these. Oh, and I could have used the back door to get in. Right. So if I want to look into these, see if there's anything valuable, I need only In fact I can just break in apparently, right. Okay, don't waste lockpicks on this anymore. But do come down and loot this house at the end of each one because It'll always be the same map at the end, this. Right. So it's always the same map. Then we should, uh, yeah. If it's the same map, we should definitely check that out each and every time. Oh wow, okay, that is a while. That's a, that's a fair while away. I mean, hell, I've probably spent more time 
doing this end bit and then I have, you know, just looting things at the end and getting to there. Then I've probably spent actually doing the uh, mission. How do, I, how do I get up there, by the way? Exactly how do I? Re really, do I have to come all the way back? Would it have killed them to have put a staircase at the front of the building? Would it have? Would it? Just saying. Got it. Right. We'll have to try that again then. But we'll have to actually search main objective area manually. Because it looks like you can auto loot it. Right. But we'll get another go. Right, I'm looking at how I performed, done pretty well here, got like 400 in our cash, nearly 500, some valuables, and a recruitment beacon, that's big money item there. The data you retrieved has been delivered to the research center, Faye. It contains a blueprint for a small drone that can deliver resources autonomously. It can project a miniature Promethean field and fool the enemy into thinking it's their own transport aircraft. That won't fool them for long, but this little bugger comes with an algorithm that can calculate the fastest route in real time. Mm. Oh, sorry. In simple terms, this little guy can automate. Hey there, stud. <laughs> Mind making a trip to the trade port? I think we accidentally skipped his dialogue by coming out of the map. Uh oh. So we've got some kind of drone that delivers resources autonomously. Okay. Thanks to you, I managed to set up a market here. You'll be able to trade with them while they're here. Know that each trader specializes in a certain type of resource, and that makes them unique. Better go see it for yourself. Okay. Yo, the commander, is it? Aroha Williams, the ammo dealer. How'd you manage to get your hands on this? Some is from dismantling enemy equipment and raiding their armories. Some is produced on our own. Sounds like you're loving your life. Love life, and I'll love you back. That being said, if we do one day beat Seal, I'm going to melt down all the ammo I have and forge a monument in EUA's honor. I appreciate your passion. Take a look around and see what you need. Faye, a new mission has just arrived. Check it out at the command division. Okay, what have we got? So, ammo boxes, right. Bam. So what we probably want is to buy all that. And go back. Then go and talk to her. And see what she's got. So batteries. One battery at 400 though. Ugh. I mean, they're good, but I'm not going to pay 400 for one. Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to pay 72 for an armored wall. Hell no. Right. So did anyone like level up? 
Another one of 30. One of 30. One of 30. Completed. Idle. Do I just claim? You have enabled hazard. Claim the reward will cause you to lose the hazard bonus. Continue. Part of the game may be to uh, for use. Try to maintain all equipment with a portable repair toolkit. Success rate eighty four per cent. Congrats, you completed this operation. Including the hazard. Oh, so we can get like the base reward, but then we get bonus stuff for the hazard. Okay. Right. So we've got she's level two now. Solvent and plant extract. Two days deployment. Let's let's dispatch. I will not send anyone on that mission yet. Because we don't want them to be overwhelmed or anything, so just we've only got level ones at the moment. Well, and our level two. <coughs> um well so we got Can we build anything? We could. We can build three batteries. Also, it would appear as if it's... The game is treating it as if we completed the last mission and got the mission objective, even though... I'm not sure we did. Did we? I mean, it seems to be counting it, so... There's that, I suppose. Right. Energy is now over 300. Um, the warehouse is a bit full, so let's sell some stuff. Um, grenade gloves. Portable gloves that shoot grenades. These ones are worse than the other two, so we'll do that. Um, boots, power boots. Um, so I think what we've got here, so I think morph z morph zens basically change the where the weapon works so they're like the main thing so we've got like um, a light attack and then that energy ball on our gun but the boosters um, are ones that you can modify them with to make them better as far as I can tell Hmm. Right, and we can sell a lot of these valuables here.
lots of valuables. Um, some core guns that we don't really care for. Okay. No, not them, me. Right, click on me. Oh, oh God. Um... What's the difference between armor and defense, I wonder? Hmm. Not entirely certain, to be fair. Right. Looking good with um, our equipment and so on. I don't think there's anything we particularly need, but where are the lot picks? There they are. Take some lot picks. Right. And we can recruit someone. Ooh, they've got a sword. Power slash. They get force field. Um, they boost allies nearby. And outpost post components. They've got. Better research. <coughs> Catafacts will take 50% less damage after you complete the Catafact driving course. So they're a pilot. Mm. They're pretty good then, this one. Right. Let's go and throw them in. Base management. Research center. Maybe, yeah, there we go. Let's do this conversation. We have received the coordinates of the second transport at the station near the snow ruins. The exact location has been synced to your terminal. Oh, no voice acting with that bit. Right, once all preps complete, head out. Okay. Right. On that note, how are we looking? I think we're ready to just set off whenever. Right. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Outpost Infinite Siege, and I will see you next time, where we'll be heading to the next zone in the Snow Ruins. Well, actually, go to Snow Ruins Difficulty 1 and recover the other archive data, so it's still going to be Difficulty 1. Right, I'll see you then.